So today I wanted to talk to you about a social media tool called Marky. And the reason I thought it was important to bring this tool forward to you so you could see what it does and how it works is if you've been watching any of my videos in the past few weeks, we've talked about the March 2024 Google Core update and how, you know, some sites got hit if we don't want to make our sites dependent on Google organic traffic anymore, what are we going to do to get more people to look at our blogs? And one way to do that is to start incorporating social media into your online endeavors. Marky is really making all of my social media posting just that much easier. But let's go ahead and look here in AppSumo. Marky says, hey, I, we generate and schedule social media marketing content for different platforms with AI. It starts at $59 on a lifetime deal. Let's jump in and see what we get. So I know some people have said to me, well, doing social media and a blog, that's a lot of work. And truthfully, if you can set up a Twitter account, a Pinterest account, a Facebook page, if you can do that foundational work, Marky's going to take care of the rest. It's going to make it very easy for you to deploy posts across multiple social media channels very quickly, very easily, and get more eyeballs coming back to your website. So in my case, I've set up Marky to promote my YouTube channel. But again, you could promote a podcast, you could promote a website, all with social media blog posts that Marky creates and then you schedule and release. And so it has a variety of different integrations. We'll go into that. Let's just get right down into the pricing. So you'll see tier one, $59 lifetime deal. So this is what you get. You can set up three brands and think of a brand as like a business or something that you want to promote. But let's say if you have three websites, you can set up social media accounts around all three websites and support those three brands. So it will allow you to do that. Now you can schedule one post per day. Scheduling simply means that you, you create this post using the Marquee tool, and then it will automatically send that post out to whatever social media channels you're connected to. So if you're thinking to yourself, well, if I have three brands and I can only schedule one post per day, that's only 90 posts in a month, yet it says I can generate 300 posts per month. So the cool thing about Marky is you can also manually push out posts. So yes, you're limited to scheduling one post per day automatically, but if you want to manually push out a post, you can do that. I'm going to show you how in the interface. Now, if you're really going to go full steam ahead into using social media to promote your website, for example, tier two may be where you prefer to be. Again, six brands. So if you have multiple domains and you want to drive traffic to all those domains, this gives you that capability with six brands. And you can schedule posts multiple times per day, up to 3,000 posts generated per month. So for those that are really going to adopt a hardcore social media plan to start driving traffic back to their websites and blogs, you probably want to be in at, at least tier two. Now, tier three would be maybe if you're managing a variety of domains for a lot of different clients, you can set up to 50 brands, again, posting multiple times per day and unlimited posts generated per month. This is probably for somebody that's got more of a social media agency or business. For the solopreneur, you're going to be in at license tier one or license tier two. And so let's go ahead and jump right into Marky. It's mymarky.ai. There's information in here, for example, love by creators and agencies. I hear some of the features. And what's really nice about it is you can go through and see what you do to set this up, right? You set up an account, you customize your branding, you generate your posts, you schedule the content, and then step five, grow your business. These are all the things Marky can do. Well, let's go ahead and jump into the interface itself. This happens to be my account. I set up something for my YouTube channel. I want to promote that. I want to do it across a variety of social media channels. And so I'm using Marky to do that. So in Marky, you can create posts. You can set up topics. 
So here's the deal. When you purchase Marky through AppSumo, the very first thing that you're going to do when you enter Marky is to enter a lot of information about your business. It's going to ask you a lot of questions about what it is you want to promote. So you don't have to be real thorough. You can just go through and add what you think you want to add. Just remember, all of that stuff is editable later. And so I've went through multiple times, set up different descriptions and objectives and things. But here's what I mean. For instance, you can go in and for me, I'm trying to promote my Mike Shuey YouTube channel. And of course, my audience is bloggers, content creators, website owners, etc. So that's that's my audience, objectives, pain points. And the reason you put in objectives in, you want to be very clear about what your objectives are for promoting your website or your blog or the pain points that you're trying to solve for people that are going to go to your site. What is that tone that you want to take? The tone of my brand is informative, engaging, supportive, and transparent. I try to provide valuable insights and practical advice in a friendly and approachable manner. This is the kind of stuff that's important to put in. My core values, knowledge sharing, community engagement, continuous improvement. My website address is actually my YouTube channel address. This is my niche. So all these things are important to put in. I even put in a writing sample. My uh, writing sample is very conversational. I wanted my AI generated posts that Marky's going to put together that I would send out to Twitter, that I would send out to Pinterest, that I'd send out to my Facebook page. I'd want them to be very engaging, very conversational. You can uh, adjust your caption and sentence length here. It gives you a way to do that here and you can play with that. Now, back up to this foundational information in the business summary. You will probably tweak this a few times before you get it exactly where you want it because all of this information informs the AI when it's building these posts that you can send out to Twitter, et cetera. The first time you set this up, it may not be producing the content that you want. I went in and had to tweak this a few times to get it to really beyond message, I had a lot of good posts that I could work with. And you'll see what I mean here in a second. And so you can put in an emoji level. Obviously, you know, if it's a Twitter post, a lot of times there's emojis in it. I've kept the emoji level at low. Uh, I've also kept the self-promotional level at low, just so the language isn't too over the top from a promotional standpoint. And then once you've, you know, put everything in here, you save that. You can edit any of this at any time if you want to train the AI to go a different direction. So that's the most important thing is you're not stuck with what you put in originally for your business summary. You can change it at any time. It also sets up these content topics for you automatically. Now, I have a variety of content topics like mastering AI writing tools, effective keyword research. You can turn these on and turn them off if you want to. Let's say that I'm really interested in putting out a variety of posts around just AI writing tools and mastering how to use those tools. I may just turn off a lot of these when I generate my AI posts, and you'll see how that works in a second. Again, just remember you can turn these on and off at will, and using different combinations of these are going to give you different AI-generated posts to use. The next thing that you want to do before you get into the posts area and start doing anything there is set up your branding. Obviously, you know, on my YouTube channel, every one of my videos you see me somewhere on the thumbnail. So I have my headshot in there. I have a brand color, a background color, a text color. You can pick a font. You have different themes that you can pick. I just went ahead and I just used all of these different themes. So I get a variety of different post styles, but you don't have to use them all. You can turn them on and off at will. That's just entirely up to you. Save that. And then of course, over here you have your social media accounts. So what can you connect to? So just today, they released Pinterest. So this is very cool because a lot of people are starting to turn back to Pinterest to drive traffic back to their blogs and back to their websites. And so I was very excited to see this new Pinterest feature. 
Now, I don't happen to do anything with TikTok, but you can connect to TikTok. You can connect to your LinkedIn personal profile, or you can have your social media posts go to your LinkedIn company page, obviously Twitter, Instagram. Let's say you have a photography blog, right? You know, Instagram is going to be perfect for that because it's very visual. I do have a Facebook page for my YouTube channel as well. So I happen to be connected to Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. But again, these are all the different social media accounts that you could connect with and have Marky just automatically send posts to all of the things that you connect to. So let's get into the meat and potatoes of the tool, which is actually generating these posts. So here we are. Here are some posts that the tool has created for me automatically. So content creation insights, you know, you can read through each one of these and see which ones you want to use. I really like, you know, using some of these memes. I think they're very attention getting, you know, imagine your content sparking conversations and connections, crafting content for social media. It's all about your platform and audience, right? So this is a post that I could put together, subscribe for more insights. It takes you to my YouTube channel and it has hashtag content creation, et cetera. That was made for me automatically. Now, let's say I wanted to use this. I have a variety of things that I can do. If I want to edit this, I can go in and edit this. So you're not automatically stuck with what it builds. If you want to make some kind of adjustment to either the text here, or you want to adjust any of the text here, you're able to do that. So they're fully editable. Now, Many times I'll find ones that'll work perfectly without any editing. Some of them I do edit slightly. If I've edited something or if I find something that I'm interested in editing later. So let's just save and close this. What I typically do, if I see this one and I go, yep, I want to use it later. I want to craft a post from this. I just move it over to my drafts. So if you click move to drafts, then you see up here, it says drafts one. If you go to drafts, it's there. Then I can edit it then I can schedule it. So I can either post now, so I can manually post it right now to the social media accounts that I'm connected to. If you decide to do post next and you look at when it's scheduled, it just automatically schedules it for the next day. If you do post next and then go up to scheduled, you can see that this is going to go out on 4-4-2024 at 10 a.m. Now I can choose to do Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter, or I can just do a couple of them or just one of them. It just depends on what I want to send it out to. So some posts may work better for Pinterest. Some may work better for Facebook. You may not want to always send everything out to every social media account. So that's how that works. If you click here, you can edit it. You can move it back to drafts or you can put it in trash. I'm going to move it back to my drafts. So then it moves out of scheduled. And if you look at published, Here's all the ones that I've published so far. I've got a variety here that I've published out to Twitter, out to Pinterest, out to my Facebook page. We'll go back over to the ones that are generated. So let's say you don't like this one. You can just move it to your trash. Here's another one. This weekend, I dove into optimizing content with new AI tools. This is interesting. I may want to work with this. I'll move it to my drafts. Writing content doesn't matter. Absolutely. This looks interesting. Move it to my drafts. I don't particularly like this one. But let's say we just trash the rest of these. None of these are ones that we're interested in. So now what? You can generate more posts. So you just generate more posts. Marky goes out, goes to work. Based on everything you've entered about your business and also about the topics that you want the post to be related to, this is what you're going to get. So they have one that's more like a meme. Over the past year, I've shared hundreds of small but powerful content creation tips. I mean, you just go through here and you determine whether these make sense for your audience. So let's go ahead and find one and post it. How about this one? College never taught me how to do keyword research, so I spent over 500 hours studying. I don't like that. Let's generate some more posts. My point is, if you spend maybe two, three hours once a week, go through, get these all set up and scheduled. Uh, again, you can have them go out automatically 
And later on, if you want to manually push some out, you can. So you can do more than one per day if you're at tier one. Now at tier two, you can do multiple posts per day automatically. That's why if you're really going to hit the social media hard to drive traffic back to a blog or a website, you probably want to be in at tier two. Let's see what else they put together. So mastering AI writing tools is a lot like riding a bike. So I'm going to go ahead. Let's just do show more. I'm just going to do a quick edit. I'm just going to make sure and do this. So I just added this, see my YouTube videos, and then put in the link to my YouTube channel. We'll save and close. And then we just go ahead. And in this case, I'm going to not schedule it. I'm going to post it right now. So when I click post now, just got posted to Twitter, just got posted to Pinterest, and it just went to my Facebook page. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like. Here's my Pinterest page, and here's the one that we just posted. There it is. Now people will see that on my board on Pinterest. Here we are on Twitter. Go to my profile, and there it is. Just got posted. Let's go back over to the Marquee interface. One other feature that I want to mention is they do have something called Upload Post. So if you go ahead and click Upload Post, then you can put in your own media here. You could pull in an image on your own. So here's, you just pull it in, you put in your caption, you'd put in your hashtags, you'd put in whatever message you wanted to put in. This is an image that I just took yesterday, one on a hike, wildflowers are really popping. So you just put in a caption like, so sometimes you just need to stop and smell the flowers, then go work on your blog. Blogging tips and tricks, the Mike Shuey YouTube channel, URL, and some hashtags. And so once you've done all that, you can save it to your drafts. And then once it's saved there, we'll go look at it. So here it is, saved to my drafts. And it can be scheduled. I can post it now, whatever I want to do. The critical piece is making sure that you're putting in a very complete business summary. Because again, this foundational information is what directs the AI when it builds out these posts that you're going to use for your different social media channels. Then these content topics, you can go in, turn them on, turn them off. For example, if we disable everything except this one at the bottom here, I'm just interested to see what it puts together. So revealing great lifetime software deals. I'm just curious if I go in with all those other content areas turned off and let's generate some more posts. You can always scroll to the bottom to generate more posts. Let's see if it picks up to the fact that I turned the rest of those content topics off. Perfect. I like these meme types. Scoring sweet software deals for a lifetime. Locking down those lifetime software deals, but high costs are throwing a wrench in the works. This is a great one. So you can see just by playing with these, setting up the business summary, carefully doing that, and then working with the topics, turning them on, turning them off, you can tell the AI exactly what kind of posts you want to create and then get those all scheduled out. And here we are back in AppSumo again, Marquee tool. But tier one, three brands scheduled to post once a day, 300 posts generated per month. Again, it will automatically post once a day, but you can also manually push out posts. But tier two, if you're really going to use social media to drive traffic back to your blog, back to your website, to your podcast, whatever, you get six brands. You can schedule to post multiple times per day, 3,000 posts generated per month. And then tier three, this is more if you have that agency. That's Marky. I've been having a lot of fun putting together these posts and using it, posting them out to Pinterest, posting things out to my Facebook page and out to my Twitter account. I'm all in on using social media to try and drive traffic back to my blog. I think it's just important, particularly in this new post-March 2024 Google update that we start looking at alternatives to try to get more traffic without depending completely on Google organic search. Social media is one way to do it. And obviously it can be time consuming, but Marky really has a great workflow, has great tools to easily edit the posts and schedule the posts. And you can see how I've done that in the demonstration. If you found this video to be helpful, please subscribe. Don't forget to look in the description. I have a link to Marky there. And you can jump out to AppSumo and take advantage of this lifetime deal before it goes away. And until next time, take care.